Hello, my name is Bob Kaberski from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers how to manually configure the server and domain settings on the Avaya VDI Communicator Client. To begin, select the gear icon on the right side of the VDI Communicator user interface. A window will open and you will need to select the settings option. The general settings window will open and if necessary, select the server tab in the left pane. The server settings window will be displayed and the top portion of the screen is where you can add or remove the session manager server information. This information is typically provided by your system administrator or IT department. The first setting is for the transport type. The options are TLS, TCP, or UDP. Keep in mind TLS is required for 1x communicator shared control mode. The next setting is the IP address for the Avaya Aura Session Manager. The third setting is for the port number. And as you can see from the note on the screen, the port number is optional. If nothing is specified, port 5061 will be used for TLS or port 5060 will be used for TCP or UDP. The bottom portion of the screen contains the last setting for the domain name. Enter the domain name for your Avaya or Session Manager. After entering all the information, select OK to save your changes. You will now be able to log the client into Session Manager as well as use it in conjunction with Avaya One X Communicator installed in a virtual environment. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information is useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.